Hello my beautiful Geminis, how are you today? Welcome to the channel, my name is Donna. We're getting started with a love reading. There is a holiday special for telephone readings. I am a full-time psychic. All right, doing personal readings. So bearing fruit, Gemini, what are you up to that is bearing fruit? We see some little angel wings here, this beautiful, lush, sort of passionate growth that's going on in your life. Nice energy for you. So when we see passion, we see growth, we see a relationship that is in a very like hot, 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 but in a good way. It is what it is. So right now you are accepting a situation for what it is. Um, you know, it's kind of, it's smart. I see beautiful sort of starlight, little crystally action around that portal. A portal is opening up and you're being very patient. A merry motive. So I like that. The energy that's coming in right now is an energy of happiness. And for the holidays, isn't that nice? Merry Christmas, merry motive. So merry motive is all about doing something for the pure joy of it. I like it. So we're going to look here and see what your mutual energy is overall in this relationship. I want to welcome all new visitors. Thank you for stopping by and thanks to all the loyal subscribers. The Tower card. What is going on, Gemini? The Tower card is an epiphany. It's something, information that usually comes out of the blue that m creates a major shift in the energy of a relationship. It can mean that it, the foundation is broken down or it's revealed that the foundation needs to be rebuilt. But the Tower card in this, in this particular deck is quite beautiful. It's all about dragonfly. It's about growth. It's about moving forward. It's about doing it in a very, like she's sitting in this beautiful, almost like a bird's nest very protected, way up in the sky, very enlightened energy. In the recent past, between you and a lover, Queen of Wands energy, that is the Aries Queen. The Tower card is Scorpio, excuse me, Aries energy. So you may be dealing with an Aries. So Gemini, the current mutual energy between you and a lover is the Six of Swords. Moving away from conflict or adversity or anything that has really been troublesome in your relationship, you're in a mode of healing currently. Uh, you may be taking some time for yourself is what that looks like because this is a person who's following their emotions uh, to sort of a natural conclusion really making sure that you're taking good care of your spirit. You're very emotionally aware at this time. Six of Swords is Aquarius energy. It's all about enlightenment. Friends may be of a tremendous help in any healing that you might be doing, physically, emotionally, or otherwise. How your person views you and the situation of your love relationship. Beautiful. I love it. The Ace of Coins is probably my favorite card in the deck because it is about, it's something that you can count on. When we look at pentacles, we really see the energy of being very grounded. Your person has, you may be dealing with an earth sign. So that would be Virgo, Capricorn. Um, oh my gosh, why am I, a Taurus. Oh, sorry about that. A little, uh, a little bit of a, a, a little bit of a blurb here at two in the morning doing readings. But the Ace of Pentacles is a substantial offer. It also means that it can be oftentimes an engagement ring. So when we look at an offer, it's a giant coin and it is a substantial offer that will be, you know, make you very happy. We also see the butterflies, which is very prominent in this deck. This deck is about enlightenment. So it is called the Enchant of uh, the Enchanted Dreams Tarot, or Tarot of the Enchanted Dreams. So it is about fulfilling and manifesting what you want. How they view you, the King of Swords, your person views you as being in this very Aquarius, very intellectual energy. They see you as being very analytical right now. They're viewing you as really being very quiet. You're sort of almost missing from the throne. So your person is picking up on the, the idea that you're giving a lot of thought to the relationship and that you will be very discerning about what you accept and what you don't accept. We see a giant sword here, and that is 
I always see the King of Swords energy as being an energy of like the surgeon, the soldier, the person who can operate without a lot of emotion and make decisions that are sound, detached, but very important decisions about what to keep, what, what stays and what goes in your life. So your person really sees you at a point of change and making a lot of maybe even hard choices. The Six of Swords actually says that your person is concerned that you might move, literally or figuratively, away from them even. The Hermit card is how your person, we have Virgo energy. I don't think the two of you are talking a lot right now. There's a lot of this energy that things are shifting very rapidly in the outer circumstances and in each of your lives respectively. So we see a lot of thoughtfulness here. Um, the Hermit card is Virgo energy. It's seeking enlightenment. This person is looking at the moon. They're looking at their emotions to see how they feel about the possibility of a change in your relationship that may take you out of their realm. And yet they want to give you, they want to keep you in their life. They want to give you a major offer, something that will be grounded and stable for you. How they view the relationship unfolding, Knight of Wands. Okay. So that's, that energy is Sagittarius energy. So your person sees themselves as having a heavy armor on and in defense of the fear of losing you is what I see, is that they're in this uh, outer appearance, not inner, inner feelings. The inner feelings are very, very tender towards you. They want to give you something substantial. Virgo and earth sign energy. When we get the knight of wands though, look at the armor. The armor is absolutely, this person is not showing their emotions. They're closed off. There's a sense of fear here is what I see in the eyes of this knight of wands. That if they stay too long, if they engage too much, that they're going to have a sense of you know, it's it feels dangerous to them. So they are behaving, I think, in a, a player-like energy, which I think is actually rattling you and making you feel as though you can't really tolerate that. Because the Queen of Wands always wins, right? The Queen of Wands is accustomed to winning in love and at life. And, you know, she's fiery and passionate. And that's, that's the energy that you both embody. But it looks like there's uh, something, words that need to be spoken right now. When we see the merry motive, you know, along with these cards, I'm really getting that um, when you speak to each other in a way that's very down to earth, very real, very it is what it is. Uh, it looks like it breaks the ice for the two of you. So I do think that Spirit is giving us a strong message here. When we look at the energy that is secret or hiding, you know, that which is um, behind the scenes energy that you share, we have the Three of Wands. Wow. The Three of Wands is a future together. The Three of Wands is you're not at a crossroads. You've really chosen each other. In a very substantial way, you have chosen each other. And when we look at the Three of Wands, it's Aries energy again. So there's a lot of powerful Aries energy here. And Aries energy is about new beginnings and change and, you know, dramatic change, quite honestly. But you both see each other in this sort of as a distant hope for the future. We see her with her hand kind of, you know, when we see somebody when they're looking out to the ocean. You know, she has her hand over her eyes to protect it from the sun so she can get a better view of the ships. So that is actually, you've already chosen one another, and yet that's not apparent here. What spirit is advising you? The lover's card. Oh, my goodness, Gemini, that's your card. The two of you really love each other. The two of you, I feel, are somewhat feeling very much fearful i mean because spirit is really recommending that you embrace this love that this love is very real it's soulmate love it's a kind of love it's like you see a lover here looking at you gemini this is you in the reading and seeing someone who's has her eyes closed and her heart is here and her heart is open but when we look at this lover again it's almost you can't see the face of the lover 
we're seeing this hermit energy. You don't know that your person is looking at you. The short-term outcome, Ace of Cups, a new beginning in love. I love it. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, profoundly good energy. It is opening the heart chakra. This is a nurturing energy of water sign energy. You know, it's Cancer, it's Pisces, it's Scorpio energy. So we're going to look at, see what the clarifiers are here going on for you, Gemini. This is a very deep love, and both of you are trying to protect yourselves from it. Both of you are in this energy of feeling like things are breaking apart, and you don't want them to. So it's almost as though you're sort of frozen here. You know, when I look at Six of Swords, Hermit, Knight of Swords, uh, and this Knight of Wands in thick armor, with the tower card there's something that's very unsettling that's happening right now i feel part of you are dealing with the fact that something will have to be left behind and it may not be very pleasant and the tower card is saying that there has to be a change in this relationship the masks have to come off emotions must be revealed an offer must be made uh, for you to really have this incredible energy. So let's see what we have. Why do we have the Tower card here for you, Gemini? Seven of Cups. Both of you are pretending to keep your options open and you're both ignoring the fact that the Tower is in existence. Both of you want to keep everything stable and steady. You're trying to give yourselves a foundation but the foundation is not, it is there, but it isn't there. It's, it's like both of you have all these feelings, but they are not. Your person's not revealing their feelings. You're not revealing your feelings. The passion is how this plays out. You know, the Queen of Wands is fiery and loving. Let's look. We have the Twin Flame card here for you. So... The shock and awe of this relationship is coming through that you already miss each other. It's difficult for either of you to bear the thought that you wouldn't be together. We get the Heart of Cups, the Queen of Cups, deep love. Oh my gosh. Deep love, nurturing love, twin flame love. We get the Four of Coins. Both of you are holding on to each other. We get the Page of Swords. I don't really see you spying on each other. It is in the reverse. I'm not seeing that kind of spying going on. And I also get that you're really not looking at this from a different perspective. You're kind of frozen in this energy of not wanting to be left out in the cold, trying to keep everything stable, but almost trying to ignore that there's deep changes coming to the relationship. However, both of you, what you don't see here is the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Now, the Ace of Pentacles is how your person views the relationship. They feel as though they need to give you more affection, more, they need to give more to you. And that is how they view the situation. So why do we have the Queen of Wands? Tell us about this fiery Queen of Wands, movement of swords. Both of you are in the energy of loving the passion between the two of you, but that, that movement of swords as words are going to be spoken. There's a feeling that there's too much passion and not enough energy. There's, this is somebody wants to speak. One of you wants to say something that may prove to be difficult. Eight of Cups, there is a feeling that the passion is not enough. The passion is not enough to bring the two of you together. This the Queen of Sword, the Queen of Wands, excuse me, is also the card of, you know, like the Knight of Wands. The Queen of Wands is very fiery and passion, passionate, and sometimes can be the other woman if there were an affair or a third party situation. The Four of Swords. Both of you are hurting. Both of you are putting on this facade of being the Queen of Wands, but it's not how you're feeling. In your heart space, both of you feel wounded, judgment call. There, you both feel as though a decision has to be made here, that Scorpio energy, that a decision is being made, that you're back at this Two of Wands energy, that you're at a crossroads. So one of you may be or may have made an indication that you may leave the relationship, which is, I think, destabilizing it. 
It is bringing into focus, however, the love that's here on the part of your partner who has put on a very strong, thick mask and armor. The Nine of Wands, the energy between the two of you is fire in your belly, but the relationship is feeling like it's ending unless there's a dramatic change. The Tower and the Death card often go together, and it often means the end of, it certainly means the end of the way it's been. So what I'm seeing here is that you're in a period of change and transformation in the relationship with the outcome being an opening of the chakra. What's going to change, what's transforming, is you absolutely must own this energy. You must own the fact that you feel this three of wands, that your other, your significant other is your person, that you are soulmates, that you are twin flames, that you want the relationship that you love each other very deeply. The Ace of Cups is the beginning of actually showing that in a much more meaningful way. And if you don't, you will find yourselves in a lot of pain, you know, because that death card is a very difficult card. You know, obviously, um, death and rebirth. The Six of Swords says that the two of you must move forward and heal some things that have happened in your relationship. The Heart of Pentacles, there we have the Queen of Pentacles energy. That is Capricorn energy. We are in Capricorn season. And it really says that your person views themselves as being someone who's reliable and nurturing. Spirit of Cups. So now we have the Queen and King of Cups. So we see two people who really love each other. The Queen of Cups is really feeling overwhelmed by emotion. And the King of Cups is somebody who shows through their actions uh, that they love you. But it is very powerful Scorpio energy, Scorpio energy. A lot of change coming in here. The Lover's card, look at that yet again. The Lover's card is echoing from here. And it's how your person sees you. They do see you as their lover, their significant other. They see you as their, their soulmate. The not King of Swords is clarified by the Ten of Wands. Your person sees you as carrying a heavy burden that doesn't need to be carried. They feel very much that they're headed your way and that you're carrying a burden. Maybe the two of you have been in separation for a couple of weeks, you know, with the Tower card, anywhere from maybe, you know, six days to to 16 days i said weeks but i don't mean weeks i meant days sorry about that that the two of you have not been speaking your person wants to come in and say honey i'm home movement of pentacles that is a knight of pentacles most slow moving knight in the deck he becomes a king your person is moving slowly towards you that is Virgo energy and the hermit is Virgo energy. So what's going on with this hermit? The justice card. Your person wants to be fair to you. Your person wants to be fair and balanced. We see the temperance card is very similar to justice. That's Libra energy. Your person feels as though they might not be able to give you what you want and that they want to make sure that they treat you well. The six of cups though says that your person wants to you know, sometimes when I see the Justice card, that can mean with the Aries Queen, it can mean a third party situation in which your person thinks about the fact that they might have to separate from someone else legally if there's a marriage, if your person is married. Um, but the energy is, you know, it doesn't look like there's, I don't see a lot of um, energy of being deceptive here and I'm not getting the three of swords or the two of coins so I'm not seeing this as any kind of a classic third party your person wants a new beginning with you Gemini 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 your person wants to a new beginning what do they want they want to get over this feeling of sadness of feeling stuck of feeling like they don't know what to do and they want to come towards you very rapidly. They'd even like to travel with you. Here we go, cards on floor. Donna's at it again. Um, anybody who watches the channel, I go through periods of time, especially when there are retrogrades that I drop cards. So we get the Two of Cups here energy for you and your person. Your person feels as though you are a soulmate to them. The Devil energy says that they don't want to let you go. Here we do have the Three of Swords. We also have the Ten of Coins. So again, your person may be attached. 
They may be married. It's possible. I would always say that with the Ten of Swords, they feel as though they can't leave that situation because of children. So we're getting that, that defense system or mechanism. Again, probably children or a small offer. The Hermit card reversed. They don't want to be alone. And it does show that they think that you may leave Six of Swords, Six of Swords, or they feel as though they feel very conflicted because they don't want to leave the relationship and yet they feel as though they're not really necessarily being fair to you. So, you know, take it as it applies. All of these energies can take place even if somebody's divorced. I hear so often now as a professional reader that the, the children become the space that gets filled in a divorce. And even when there's a divorce, you know, the children almost take the place of the, the former spouse in terms of time and energy. So it can, it can play out in any of those ways. Take it as it resonates. The Three of Wands, you have chosen each other. Six of Wands, you love being together. You are very successful together. I would actually say you're very creative together. When we get the Three of Wands, a ship has come in the harbor, the Six of Wands, your person and you really want and love to spend time together. The world card that you would love to travel with your person, you feel as though they are your best friend. When we get the Ace of Coins and the Three of Cups in a closer alignment, we get two people who would absolutely love to be engaged, betrothed. That is the engagement set. Typically, though, in a reading, they do need to be closer. They need to be, you know, this Ace of Pentacles would need to be touching this card in essence. So let's see what we have. The Spirit is recommending that you honor your lover's relationship and see the pure joy and happiness, Pisces energy, that your love is very genuine, it's very real. Spirit of Swords, King of Swords energy is that's your energy here that's what spirit is recommending that you do that you think very carefully about the choices you make the moon card says that there are things to be revealed that neither of you for, are are aware about or excuse me you're not aware of things that, that are hidden right now wheel of fortune speaks to the fact that your person wants to act when the time is right so do you but it looks like you're just not addressing anything you're not really talking. The Nine of Swords, Remorse, Regret, you're both all up in your heads. Gemini Energy. The Heart of Swords. So it really speaks. That's that's the Libra Queen. That is the Queen of Swords, you know, trying to stay cool, calm, and collected. The Ten of Cups. So there may be a communication here that says that your person feels that they love you and that you're their one. The Earth Mother energy, it can go either way. It'll go different ways for different people. But there are situations that are going both ways. Some of you will find yourself in the energy that your person is totally. Um, and now we have the King and the Queen of Pentacles. So you just, you're very well balanced together. But it does look like some of you, the outcomes will be different depending on, because it's a general reading. But when we get the self-imposed restriction of a you know a daddy type energy Taurus energy because of a they want to marry you though the ten of cups you are their happily ever after but for many of you your person is trying to deal with you've got a lot of feminine energy here so once again I do think some of you may have a situation in which you're dealing with either an ex-wife uh, a mother of a child in which your person feels as though they have limited ability to give you the love that you want. However, the love is absolutely there. So let's see. I want to look at the, um, the Heart of the Fairy Oracle and see what we can see here about the, the Eight of Swords energy, this energy that your person is in that makes them feel as though, or you, how it can be vice versa. What is this energy? The queen of the day. Your person wants you. Straight up. They want you. They feel as though you're the person. You're the queen that is in their life daily. They feel very much that you are the person for them. And we get the energy of the prince of shadows though. What we see here is a person who absolutely loves you and feels as though 
they are limited in their ability circumstantially to come forward at this time because they want this. They want to be in the daylight with you. And right now they're struggling with the energy of acting on this beautiful Ace of Cups. So I am going to leave it there for now. If you would like extended readings, if that's something you're interested in, you know, please leave a comment below. I am broadcasting from Chicago. Please leave a comment. Tell me where you're from around the world. We have a lot of European watchers here, which delights me to no end as a former international uh, purser of an airline. Um, and I used to travel a lot to Europe. So sending you love, Gemini. Hopefully you have a fabulous holiday. Wishing you the best. Take care. Bye-bye.